Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I would like to share with you these two um, golden book journals. These are binder journals, but before I do, I would like to say thank you to Bianca from BB's Closet Creations. She just gave me a shout out and I already got new subscribers thanks to her. So I really wanted to say thank you and also tell you about her channel. You can um, check it out under this video below. I'll have a link so you can go check out her journals and um, her, she's currently sell selling her journals uh, on Poshmark so I was trying to encourage her to start selling on Etsy I think it's just easier and um, she would probably get more exposure because her journals are really beautiful so um, while you're there you might also give her uh, some boost and uh, subscribe to her channel and like her videos so thank you so much Bianca I really appreciate that and so these two journals um, are made in a very similar way as my previous fall journals. Uh, what was it? I Can Fly and the other one was My Family, something like that. Anyways, so these are made in a very similar way because I absolutely love making these. And I think these journals are different than the um, bound journals you know when you have spine and the signatures are in because with these journals you can actually work on each page as you go so you can remove the page and you can um, stamp or stitch uh, I'll show you in a second so two rings as you can see that you can open and then I made charms and I forgot to bring this stuff so these are those wooden um uh, little things from i think hobby lobby let me see if it's showing so what i did i made it into a charm as you can see and i colored them i wanted to use inca gold but i couldn't find the colors so i actually used metallic acrylic over the wood i didn't use anything else because if i add if i use gesso then Mm, they already came with all of this, the stars and stuff, so the gesso would cover that. So this is why I left it like this, and then I added gemstones. And I think they're just so adorable. So these are from Hobby Lobby, and it's a whole box of them. I just didn't bring them with me here. And this is Tim Holtz chipboard and Tim Holtz um, charm. So that's a charm I already checked. It looks really pretty on a bookshelf. So it would look just like that hanging. So I'll show you this one first. And so the paper is sticking out uh, from the cover and that's the way I wanted it to be. I kind of like this look. So they tie with Sari Silk from the uh, Chindi rugs I was showing you. So it's, I think, generous length. Uh, if you don't want it for the uh, for for the tight closure, you can just use it for whatever you uh, for the whatever else. But pretty color, so much as the Christmas uh, theme. So the book is in order, and actually, I use this book in this particular journal because. Um, this particular book didn't come in two different in two uh, signatures it was just one stitched in the middle so i couldn't really work with it like i would normally uh, when i make four signatures so then all sorts of paper to journal on and nice cute um, ephemera that i used as pages so what i mean is you can open this up and you can this is copy that paper so you can uh, stamp it so it's on flat when you stamp it or you can um, add trims on the side or something anything you want this is paper from Dollar Tree and a lot of Christmas papers this is burnt paper um, coffee dyed and lined this is grid paper this is from Dollar Tree a look this is this glitter i don't know if it's going to be showing in this light but this is actually glitter and it's so pretty so green 
just like the trees then this these are the bags from Hobby Lobby I was I know I was showing in one of my holes I just cut this part here and I'll show you in a second that part and then I stitched it right here so I have some stuff in there so I have tags this couple of snowmen aren't they cute so what you could do with these uh, you can even make tuck spots with them so you would glue this and this and then you could put something behind like a tag or something um, just a thought you can do really anything with these you can journal on them and then you can glue them or you can glue them and journal all over that this is also paper from um, Dollar Tree so you could make tags um, not tag yes tags too but um, tag spots and pockets so if you glue that here that will give you a pocket here so you could put something inside so what else do I have here a library card to-do list because you'll need that for Christmas guest check and that's it or there's something else inside so um, lined paper again you can glue it somewhere <clears throat> and you can also glue this somewhere in a journal so you can make some collages with that I don't think there's anything else in there well, let me see I think that's it and the texture of this paper bag is so nice it's really good quality and so these these uh, paper bags are from Hobby Lobby too. So um, if, if you're subscribed to my channel, then you know that I'm showing the stuff that I purchased. So you can see if you can find it. Uh, some cute, super cute paper scraps. I love this paper. And then project you can write about projects Christmas project here is a tag pretty much to match this side here this cute pop so pretty so I even added this uh, stocking you can really do so many things with it you can make tags with it or just keep it though you can journal on it and um, more stockings on this uh, card wishing you a beautiful holiday season and a new year of peace and happiness some vintage pieces this again great for stamping or stenciling you can even emboss it's actually already embossed the way it came but you can still do so many other things with this you can you could even remove this page and glue it somewhere and use it as background or you can just use this as a background for your picture or anything else. I like this page. And then here's an envelope. Journaling cards. So inside. Okay, so here is Here is a, a lined piece of paper stamped so you can write something and this is the bottom from the paper bag I was just showing you so you could this is a vintage playing card you could use all of the pieces that I added included in a journal and you can make your own tags with this you can use it as background. You can glue this right here. Look how cute this would look. Because this is a little white here, so you could. Uh, and then also, these are also parts of that card, uh, the paper bag, not card, and these two. So you could glue this, so for like contrast. You can, of course, cut it into smaller pieces. So for contrast, if you were uh, journaling. And then also these pieces too. Yeah, I was even thinking you could make tabs with these. 
and they look cute. So this is why I, I included all of the leftovers because you never know. And then this card and then these extra pieces here's again you can do you could even make a tag with this paper so this all i have in this envelope and then happy holidays so on this side i have extra pieces Again, you can glue this somewhere in a journal. This is this paper that looks like coffee dyed vintage, uh, but it's actually store bought. And this is low, cute low stamp, so you could glue this on the envelope if you wanted to. So I have all this here. This is coffee dyed with blue, beautiful turquoise blue uh, glitter mist and it shimmers. You, you won't be able to see it now, but it actually, yeah, there's no way you can see this, but it shimmers. There's some recipe for sugar cookies. Here's another gift tag. And journaling card, Merry Christmas. Another bag with stuff inside. So this you could glue something uh, somewhere in a journal on a page. You could even glue it on this paper bag. And so you could journal on it. Then there's, um, this is also from Hobby Lobby, this Christmas tree. So you could even make tags and add them. You could make a bookmark with this. And this is paper from Dollar Tree. So it's really nice paper. And here I used another piece for this page here. And I have two more gift tags, super cute. So you could even glue it just like that and you can have nice tag or to just to give you an idea. Another piece of paper. So as you can see, very eclectic. I was trying to be creative to pick the right um, pages for these journals. And then here again are two pieces of paper. So this is uh, again coffee dyed paper with glitter mist, so it shimmers too. But the sound is amazing. And then for this, I was thinking you could even make, you, if you glued it here, then you would have a tuck spot. So you could put something in there, but you can do whatever you want. And these you can cut, um, cut out a, a separate uh, st um, stamps for envelopes and stuff. So coffee dyed again. And then here is a journaling card and this little envelope where I have more tiny little pieces for extra, you know, color to add to the pages or if you wanted to write something on this to pop up. So I included more of these just in case you needed them. And then I cut out Tiny little tags, so cute. So, you know, just some extra stuff you might need to um, use to finish the journal completed or just have fun with it. And this is the paper I was also showing you rec my recent purchase from Tuesday morning and look how pretty this, these pages look together. And here, this paper I was also showing you multiple times by now. That's from eBay, this antique looking page paper. And these journals have a card, Q 
cute card. These these were also from Tuesday morning, and an envelope. So you can either use it in a journal or you can uh, send it to somebody, or you can make it a part of the journal. This is coffee guide. This is also my new paper from Tuesday morning. And that's it. So there are about 40 pages of um, extra paper. And then um, I don't remember how many pages of the book. So, so 40 plus pages, um, the original book pages. This is very soft, sorry, silk. And this here says holiday. So I really like it. This is so cute. So next one, and I'll go a little faster this time because you already know what it is about. This one has a uh, snowflake. And this one has this gingerbread man. Also metallic acrylics. And same thing. <clears throat> this one has the name here. I did not cover that because I really like this writing and it says 1987. So I, I thought it was pretty cool. So I left it here. Again, a lot of tags. Paper from Dollar Tree. Love this moment story. This stamped page. Same thing with the extra paper from the paper bag and uh, playing card. on this side too. And so here is this extra paper and stamp for the envelope. I mean, th this is just piece of ephemera, I call it the postal stamp. This is green paper, some green here. This is coffee dyed. This again is this Dollar Tree paper and two tags. Here's this paper, Dollar Tree textured, feels like fabric with glitter. Here's the same thing, a different card, but same thing, card and envelope. This is, again, uh, coffee dyed baked paper. And here too, this one has some glitter mist. Here is the envelope, and this one, look what I found. I found this reindeer, because there's reindeer here. Same thing, same tags and extra paper. Pretty page. Cookie recipes. 
coffee guide. Here's the bag. Let me see. So see, I cut out the bottom part from the paper bag here. And that's what I was showing you for all those extra pieces. Again, uh, from Dollar Tree. Stamped tags. Same card, really pretty and uh, homey, very warm. I love this little guy here, this gingerbread man, so cute. Again, uh, paper from Dollar Tree, tag, coffee dye. And here are those two pieces that you can make the tuck spot with. Or you can glue it together just like I have it here. It kind of looks nice together, those two patterns. Looks nice. So coffee dye paper, vintage book pages. Notepad paper. Love this paper. Love these vintage ornaments. So these journals are available at my Etsy shop. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to go check out Bibi's channel and subscribe if you can. And uh, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And um, also to remind you, for those who are new to the channel, um, there is a giveaway um, on my channel currently going on. I'm going to link this video underneath as well. You can win this journal if you do a few things that I'm talking about in a video with this journal. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.